everyone, today we're going to cover how to play Thunderstruck by ACDC. Absolutely killer song. Let's get going. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that bell so you get notified when I'm making new videos. The first thing I want to cover about this song is the myth that um, it's hammer-ons and pull-offs. That is not true. Angus Young picks every single note. It is not done like this. In fact, I actually think it's harder to play that way. This song is all about picking techniques. If you're going to play the Angus Young part anyway, um, the guy does not stop through this whole song. He's playing that riff. Um, and I got to tell you, it's taxing. If you try to play the whole song start to finish, your arm's going to be burning after you play a good half hour or so of doing the song. This entire riff from start to finish that Angus Young does is all on the B string. So um, it starts on the fourth fret and the seventh fret. The pattern, and this is throughout the whole riff, is a note and then an open B. So. That riff is on the 4th fret and the 7th fret, 5th fret, and the 8th fret. Whatever is most comfortable for you to play, if it's more comfortable for you to use your ring finger or your pinky, depending how big your hands are, it's completely up to you. If you're new to this and this is really fast picking, I would just start getting the picking down with this hand, your picking hand. So I'm going to play that riff slow for you first and then we'll play it up to speed. However you choose to play this, my tip for you is to use really light fingers and really light picking. And just work on getting up to speed. Start really slow, make sure you're playing accurate. Alright, the second riff, and this is the one he plays throughout most of the song. I'm going to play it up to speed first, and then we'll break it down, play it slow, and I'll go through it. Alright, so slow. So the pattern is going to go from the 12th, 10th, 9th, back up to the 10th, back down to the 9th, then to the 7th, back up to the 9th, down to the 5th, back up to the 7th, and then he alternates between this 4th and 5th fret. The one that always gets me, and I screwed this up a million times, so don't feel bad if you do the same thing. Um, he kind of skips this 5th fret, 5th and 7th fret, I'm sorry, the 7th fret, when he's going down this pattern. So he does 12, um, 12, 10, 9, right? Then he goes 10, 9, 7, back up to the 9, and then he jumps to the 5th. So what I, ended, well, I, what I was doing is screwing up and playing the 7th, just to kind of like doing a walk down. That's another mistake that I see a lot of people doing with this song. I 
I will say this is a fantastic riff to get comfortable playing up and down the neck and especially jumping back up to the 12th fret when you're down here. Because while that last B is played, you have to get back up to the 12th fret to play it all over again, so. The problem is there's two different guitars playing parts here, and you kind of have to pick and choose when you're playing by yourself anyway, which one you're gonna play. I know most of us wanna play the Angus Young part, but when you get to the first chords that are really like, you know, loud, um, they play this riff. Now I'm gonna show you a trick to doing that. So it's really three chords. It's an A, an E, but for the E, he's only playing the first two strings. So all of that's on the second fret. For the A, lay your hand across the second fret, leaving the A and the E string open, except you're just gonna play from the A string down. And you can just roll your finger to do this. So you're just not moving it that much. The way that riff opens is from an A to a B. So a B is the power chord on the second fret. So you're gonna put your index finger, second fret on the A string, and then you're gonna lay either your ring finger or your pinky, whatever you're more comfortable with, um, across the fourth fret um, for all the strings except the E and the A. So. Another good habit, if you haven't watched my other videos, when you're playing, always palm mute. Unless something specifically open, just get, when you're playing with distortion, just get in the habit of palm muting. It's gonna make your life so much easier um, getting into that habit and keeping the strings quiet as you play. Um, because when you want them to ring, it's way easier to do than to keep the strings quiet. So that riff again is you're going to jump from an A to a B quickly. And then A to an E. So slow. So then he goes back to that main riff. So then there's a second three power chord riff he does that goes from a B to an A to an E. So again, power chord, second fret on the A string, A, and then to the E. You can see how once you get this down, you're really never moving your hand from this position because those two chords are right here and then the B is right here. So that's it. That's all you're moving your hand. And then between that riff that he repeats, there's just an A. So the whole, the whole thing is going to go. All right, so the chorus opens with a B, right to an A, right? And then he does this cool riff with the E. He's playing the top three strings open and then hammering on that E. And then going back up to the A. So it goes like this. And then he's finishing with that E again, so.
So I'm gonna do the chorus really slow for you. Watch my hand close. You can see the trick is to keep things quiet is I'm muting the strings between those chords. Chord mute. Chord mute, chord mute. I'm exaggerating this so you can see my hands, you know, like is muting the strings. And then he does that cool pick slide, and then it goes into the solo. The solo I'll do a second video on. If you guys are interested, comment below. It's actually not that difficult for this song, and it's super fun to play along with the track. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said earlier, if you want a second part to this video, comment below, and we'll work on the lead and the rest of the song, because the rest of the song is actually pretty long. So let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that bell so you get notified when I'm making new videos. Three, 